Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the Kruskal method. Kruskal method is for finding out the minimum cost spanning tree and it comes under the greedy algorithm. Another algorithm that we did was the Prim's algorithm to find the minimum cost spanning tree and uh, now we'll uh, see the Kruskal method for finding the minimum cost spanning tree. Basically we have to make an edge table in this method. So how do we do that? And here it does not deal with the connectivity like in the prims uh, we were going from parent node to the child node and uh, that is very, uh, discussed very well in the previous video but in Kruskal method the graphs graph that uh, comes out in a forest way that is it is not necessary that uh, while the formation of my path the two nodes are connected or all the nodes are connected but eventually in the end all the nodes will be connected and traverse and it is useful when the graph is small and uh, less of, of complications are there so let us see an example okay so i have a b c say d taking a short small example it's a very easy method nothing uh, very difficult in it okay say 8 then 4 4 and 9 so what does an edge table mean an edge table means that i write on all the edges from A to B, I have 2, then B to C, I have 4, C to D, C to D, I have 4, D to E, I have 9, and B to E, I have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which one am I? Okay, A to E is left. A to E is 6. Now I have to make an edge table. And how do I make it? In the increasing order of weights. That is, the smallest weight has to come in the front so this is my edge this is my weight okay the smallest one is 2 that is for AB okay then comes uh, for BC and CD that is 4 4 each for BC and CD then comes for AE that is 6 then comes for BE that is 8 then comes for uh, DE that is 9 now that's all now what I have to do I'll construct the spanning tree or the minimum cost spanning tree according to this and I just have to take care of one thing that while making the minimum cost spanning tree from here all the edges are traversed at least once only once actually and uh, I make no cycles obviously the tree has a requirement that there should have there should be no cycles uh, all this is discussed very well in the minimum uh, spanning tree introduction video and the prims method in uh, video so you can refer to those they are the previous ones in the playlist okay so now we'll make a uh, spanning tree for it the minimum cost spanning tree for it let's make it here itself so i start with the edge a a goes to b with the cost of 2 okay then b goes to c b goes to c with an edge of 4 c goes to d with an edge of 4 then A goes to E E is not traversed earlier no so I can make A goes to E with a, with a weight of 6 ok now B goes to E if I write down B go, if I make an edge over here there will be a formation of a cycle so I will not include this thing and moreover B and E have already been traversed ok so I don't take this and D, D and E D and E if I make an edge in between them it will again lead to a cycle so I do not include this so this is my minimum cost spanning tree with the minimum cost of 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 8 cost is 16 so that is all about the Kruskal video one thing that you have to take in mind is that it does not deal with the connectivity it does not deal with the connectivity and uh, secondly it is beneficial when the graph is small thirdly the graph is constructed in the forest way. Forest way means like uh, how is the forest scattered? Something is scattered here, something is scattered here, and then they are connected by something, some things, right? Something is scattered here, here, and then they are connected. So that is how the forest is formed. 
similarly that this was a smaller question but if we take it for a bigger question so maybe you come to know what the forest way of formation of graph so that's all about the crystal video see you in the next video thank you for watching and do like subscribe and share